G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at August 5th, 2024's Frame Sudoku by Clover. Clover's one of our says here at Gas HQ, so am I. My name is Bill Murphy. It is my pleasure, honor, privilege to solve this one for you today. Now, uh, this puzzle uh, is one of our days of August. You could get a bonus hat for guessing uh, what uh, tomorrow's puzzle will be in the comments. So what far, nobody has guessed what variant it's going to be. So uh, that's cool. Um, also, when gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. If you have no idea about what Sudoku variants are, no, that's not going to help you. But uh, we create a genuinely approachable puzzle that should only take you about uh, seven to ten minutes to solve every day. Maybe less, probably less. Um, this is uh, a puzzle of ours. Uh, you can solve this in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Two hats for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets dinosaur because we love you all equally. That being said, let's get into it. Uh, I have to say, I love today's puzzle. I think it is a banger. Now, normal Sudoku rules apply. So each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits one to nine once each. Now, Clues outside the grid give the sum of the first three digits seen in that row or column looking from the direction of the clue. So here you've got six, uh, it must be those three, but 18 must be those three. That's what it means. Um, let's get into it. So uh, six must be one, two, three. Uh, we'll take one out there. Uh, four is in three cells without a four must be one, two, and five. So because uh, this can't be one or because uh, one or two must be in these three cells means it can't be in that one. So that's three, that's two, that's one. Now over here, this has to, seven in three cells is just one, two, four because I've already placed a one and a two in this column. That must be four. This is one and two. Uh, now, Eight in three cells without having five must be one, three, and four. So one can't go in the uh, one and four here means that this must be three, and this has to be one and four. Uh, we don't know enough to figure out what the nine must be yet. Uh, seven in three cells must be one, two, four. If it can't have a two or a four in the center cell, then this must be one, and this is two and four. Uh, as you can see, we are left with a five there. Now, four over here must be either one, three, five, or one, two, six. Uh, so this is either five or six, and this is one, two, three. We can take the three out of that. Um, one over here means that this has to be two, three, four, because that's the lowest three digits can sum to uh, to make nine. Uh, we do know enough to place all of those digits. That's four, three, and two. Uh, now, where does two go in box eight? Two must go here. Uh, all right. And now, uh, unbelievably, we... Yeah, this, this is the part where the puzzle gets a little trickier. Not a huge amount, just a little bit. Um, now, over here, the lowest you can have three digits sum to is five, six, seven uh, in this row because we have four, one, two, and three. So this is five, six, seven, making um, 18. This is an eight, nine pair, uh, meaning this is six and seven. Now, if this was six, this would have to be one and two. Uh, because I have a two here, it cannot be that. So this must be one and three. Uh, and one, oi, uh, one, three, four, and one, uh, and that must be five. So where does four go in this box? Four must go here, making this an eight, nine pair. Uh, two up here, four here, two here, one there. Uh, three goes that down there. Uh, now, two, uh, 2 plus 14 makes 16. We're left with two choices. Either it's 5 and 9 or it's 6 and 8. Because we have a 5 in this row already, we know that this must be 6 and 8, meaning these two need to be 7 and 9. If you think you've figured out where this puzzle's going, you're probably pretty right. Um, now, uh, that's right. Uh, where does one go in box five? I know a one must be in one of those two cells. So it one has to go here. Now two, 
Oh, I don't quite know enough just yet. That's okay. Um, not knowing stuff is the first step to knowing stuff. Um, let's have a look down here. Four has to be 14. I do not have a 5, 9, or a 6, 8 uh, yet to work that out. That is okay. Um, let's figure out what I do have. So where does one go? One, that's fine. Uh, two has to go in one of these two cells. Uh, yeah, two go definitely goes in one of those two cells. All right, where does three go? Uh, three is in one of those two cells. Uh, three can also be in oy, one of those two cells. Four, uh, four goes there. That's fine. Um, five goes here. And, uh, do I know where five goes here? Not yet. That's okay. Um, all right. I remember hitting this point when I was test solving this and going, ooh, this is a little spicy. Uh, that's okay. Uh, we don't mind a bit of spice here at Gas HQ. Uh, okay. Four. Where does, uh, five, eight, and nine are the only digits I can place in that row. So where does four go now? Four must go in... One, uh, uh, it can only go here, which means three has to go here, which takes three out of here. Now, that means that this must be three, one, and five, uh, meaning I can do two and one there. I can take the five out of here and put a five up here. Now, where does two go in box four? Two must go there. I'll take that out of there. Now that I know that 5 can't go down here, I know that this has to be 6 and 8. Uh, 5 goes here. This is 7 and 9. Because uh, 6 and 8 can't go in those two cells, because I already have a 6, 8 pair down here, 6 and 8 have to go here, meaning this is 7 and 9. Uh, all right. Because uh, 6 and 8 see these two cells, um, Six and eight must go here, which puts a nine here. And now we can start unwinding this puzzle a little bit. Uh, this is a seven and a nine, which unwinds that seven and nine. Uh, six and eight can only go in those two cells there. So this is a seven. And then... Bah, 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 bah. Ah, I've totally missed a whole clue. Okay, um, it wouldn't have helped a huge amount, but that's fine. This is six and seven, meaning this is eight and nine. We have a nine in column five, which tells us which way around this goes. Uh, six and eight, meaning that's six, that's seven. Nine and seven, eight and six, nine and eight, uh, six and eight. Uh, and we are just unwinding this whole puzzle. I think this way, the way that this puzzle unwinds is just really satisfying. Um, but this has been Frame Sudoku by Clover. My name's still Bill Murphy. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will catch you next time. Cheers.